lifting up his eyes to heaven, Jesus prayed, saying, Holy Father, keep them in your name that you have given me, so that they may be one just as we are one. When I was with them, I protected them in your name that you gave me, and I guarded them, and none of them was lost, except the son of destruction, in order that the scriptures might be fulfilled. But now I'm coming to you. I speak this in the world, so that they may share my joy completely. I gave them your word, and the world hate them, because they do not belong to the world any more than I, that I belong to the world. I do not ask that you take them out of the world, but that you keep them from the evil one. They do not belong to the world any more than I belong to the world. Consecrate them in the truth. Your word is truth. As you send me into the world, I send them into the world. And I consecrate myself for them so that they also may be consecrated in truth. The Gospel of the Lord. In this seventh Sunday of Easter, the church invites us to meditate about this passage of the Gospel according to John. And this is a solemn moment in the life of Jesus Christ. It's like we can see the sacred heart of Jesus open to us and show us the intimacy between him and his father. He's in prayer. He's in a special moment with his father. And we are part of this prayer. He's praying for us. The Lord Jesus is asked to his father, for you and for me, almost three things. That we have the capacity to live in unity in the same way that God is one, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Other petition from Jesus to his Father is that the Father keep us from the evil one, protection for us. And the last, or almost the third one, is that Jesus pray to his Father for our holiness, that we achieve holiness, that we became saints. Three important petitions from Jesus. First one, he said to his Father, Holy Father, keep them in your name that you have given me so that they may be one, just as we are one. We are created for live in unity, in communion. For that reason, it's really important that we celebrate in the liturgy of the Eucharist communion between God and men, and between men and men, between us and our neighbor. That is really important. For the human being, loneliness is the worst things that happen. Because God created us for to be like a family. God is communion. God is family. And we need this. When you have the experience of loneliness, it's the worst experience for human being. But when you have family, when you have friends, it's different in your lives. Jesus know this and pray to his Father for that. Lord, help them to live in community, to live in communion, to live like a family. Second petition, I do not ask that you take them out of the world, but you keep them from the evil one. The evil one exists. The devil exists. And he wants our destruction. He wants our condemnation. And Jesus prayed to his Father, protect them against the evil one. The evil one 
appear around us every day when we feel temptations. And Jesus said to his father, protect them against the evil one. And also when we pray the Our Father, we ask the same. Lord, give me the strength against the evil one. Protect me. Protect me when appear temptations in my lives. And the last petition, consecrate them in the truth. Your word is truth. Consecrate them. Consecration is like a separation to God. When we separate something to God, that is consecration. And Jesus said to his father, consecrate them in the truth. Your word is the truth. We need to live in the truth. Just when you live in the truth, you have authentic freedom. When you don't live in the truth, you are a slave. And Jesus knows that. And he wants that we live in the truth. And where is the truth? In his word, in the word of the Father, in the sacred scripture. We need to take care of the sacred scripture as a beautiful treasure that we receive from God. But the problem is we don't care the sacred scripture. And I'm just not talking about the book, the Bible. Maybe it's in the corner in your home with dust. You never open that book. But it's not about this. It's about if we live according to the word of God, if we meditate his word, there is the truth that we need. Around us, in our society, we have many lies, many liars around us. And sometimes we open the door to lies. In our heart, in our families, in our society, in our church, we need to come back to the truth. We need to live in the truth. And that truth, as Jesus said, is the word of God. Before this prayer of Jesus, today, join, join with him. And say to the Father, Lord, hear the prayer of your only begotten Son for us. And also say to Jesus, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord for your mediation for me, for your intercession for me before your Father. Join with Jesus and be grateful with Jesus for his prayer to his Father. Let us pray in silence.